Today I'd like to show you how to add LEDs to your bicycle handlebars. This project was inspired by Mitchell Silva, who designed glow bars, handlebars with LEDs inside. But today we're going to use Adafruit's LED strip to put on the outside of our handlebars. Let's get started. You'll need one or two meters of cool white LED strip, depending on your design, a waterproof DC power cable pair, an eight times AA battery holder, and various sizes of heat shrink tubing. To make the battery bag, you'll need some fabric, some tablecloth vinyl, as well as scissors, thread, and needles, which you can pick up in the Adafruit store. Start by laying out your LED tape on your handlebars. One meter will cover a strip along these drop bars, while I'll use two meters on my own bike to do a spiral design. We'll store the batteries right underneath the top tube with a wire leading up to the handlebars. Locate the center of your LED strip and cut away around the solder pads with an X-Acto knife. Solder the red lead on your power cable to the positive solder pad and the black wire to the negative. Slide a large piece of heat shrink tubing over the whole joint and shrink it with a lighter. You can also add a zip tie and epoxy to provide strain relief at this delicate junction. Solder the other part of your power cable to the battery holder. Having first slid a piece of heat shrink tubing over each wire and another larger piece of heat shrink tubing to cover those after you've shrunk them. To get your handlebars ready, remove any handlebar tape that may be on them now and thoroughly clean your handlebars so they're free of oil, adhesives, or rust. Center your solder joint right in the middle of your bike's handlebars and trim the paper backing to expose the adhesive on the LED strip. Then affix it to your handlebars in the design you like. You may need to trim off some extra LEDs with some flush snippers. Power them up and make sure they work before you go any further, and then whip out the secret ingredient, it's clear handlebar tape. I found it on Amazon and it's pretty easy to work with. Start at the ends of your bars and work towards the center. When you get there, cut off any extra and tape up the joint with the tape included or some black electrical tape. I also added a zip tie here to make it extra strong. Over on my own bike, I also taped the power cable to the brake line to prevent the cable from flopping around while I ride. Oh, I got some batteries, let's see, let's try it out. Oh man, that's really bright. Having been sufficiently blinded, it's time to make the battery bag. Measure the circumference of your top tube and lay out some fabric. Put some Velcro tape down and then measure from the edge of that to your circumference measurement, then add one more Velcro tape's width and cut a rectangle out from your fabric. Use the battery holder as a rough guide for the other dimension of the rectangle, plus a little bit of seam allowance you'll use to hem those edges of the fabric. Cut and hem another piece of fabric and line the two pieces up right sides together. Then stitch a line right down the middle. One of these pieces will grip the battery holder and the other one will grip the top tube of the bicycle. And the one with the battery holder we want to make waterproof. So pull out your tablecloth vinyl and cut a piece to match the sides of that side. Cut some Velcro tape to length and peel and stick it in position so that when the flaps overlap, the Velcro will grip. Whenever you're working with vinyl in the sewing machine, you can use a piece of scrap paper between any of the moving parts and the vinyl to prevent it from binding up. Then you can peel off the paper along the perforations made by the needle. Also add Velcro to the flaps that'll go around the top tube and stitch it in place. The battery holder needs something to cinch the ends shut, so I used some embroidery floss, which I threaded in a needle and then sewed through the hem of the flap of the battery holder side of this whole thing, and then I can use that as a drawstring to cinch the end shut. You can route the wires so that they go along with your brake lines, and then Velcro the top tube piece onto the bicycle. While I wouldn't call this design completely waterproof, it certainly won't blow up if you get stuck in a sudden shower. And if you want to ride without your lights on, just disconnect the power cable and either tuck the plug into the pouch or remove it completely. So that's it. I can't wait to see your LED bicycle projects in the Adafruit Flickr pool or on our weekly show and tell on Google+. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.